In today's video, I'm going to review these Dr. Killigan's pantry moth traps. If you've seen my shorts lately, you'll see that I've had a pantry moth invasion in the house of biblical proportion. It's really hard to get rid of these. And it only takes one small mistake, just one lid not quite tight, or a bag that's open, or something like that. You may not even notice it, and then you just they'll just take it over, and then you just have this horrendous mess. So I bought a six pack. It's highly rated. A lot of people use these and we're gonna give it a try. So it comes in a six pack and each one of these is individually wrapped like this. Now the reason it's uh, wrapped like this is this has a pheromone in it and we're going to try to disrupt the sex cycle because the males wanna mate with the females and they smell delicious. So here we go, we're going to do this. So it's really simple. You want to take it out of its package and then there is a protective layer on here. We need to remove this, right, like this. Just take this off. Okay. Now, we have the pheromone strip in blue, and then we have the sticky on the side. So it's just a sticky trap. No harsh chemicals, and you just fold this up. There's a little catch right there. And then we're gonna go place this in the pantry where we have lots of moths. So as an experiment, I got this container, and I put some water in it, and I threw some oats on top. And I wanna see if it will work, and I'm gonna compare it side by side uh, to my Dr. Killigan's pantry moth traps using pheromones. And I wanna see what will happen over time. Because if I can catch some this way, that'd be pretty handy. Here's my homemade trap after about two or three days. And if you can see in there, I've got about maybe five or so uh, pantry moths, something like that. Basically what I did is I got some water and I put some oatmeal on the bottom and then they're, they fly in trying to eat and then they get drowned. So that works okay. But over here on my uh, Dr. Killigan's trap, we've got quite a few in there. And these are both set out at the same time. And so there are about six on the left, maybe 10 or so there, and maybe 10 or so here, something like that. So these are very effective and I've seen noticeably fewer moths flying around. Now I have been taking measures to eliminate them. Here's one right here, there's a moth flying around. There's one flying around. But if you look on the ceiling, that one's dead. I smashed that one. But I don't see any more hanging around the ceiling like I did before. And so they go up there in the morning and in the last video I showed you I just sucked them up with a vacuum. And so things are looking a lot better. We have significantly fewer. And this process is going to take a while. It's not instantaneous because you have to break the replication cycle. And the pheromone traps, this breaks the, the uh, sex cycle. So they, the males are going there, they're attracted to the pheromones, and so you're going to get those. But it doesn't stop the females that already have eggs. You know, over here on my homemade trap, well, that just gets anything that's hungry. So I'm trying more of a shotgun approach trying to fix them, but at least I am making some significant progress. Okay, it's been several days later, and now I have so many pantry moths on this trap that I'm about ready to get a new one. There's just a little bit of area left for them to land. So anyway, it has performed really well. And there's a great reduction in the number of pantry moths flying around for sure. So now as far as price is concerned, I paid about $20 for a six pack. And that works out to $3.33 a trap. And I think these are a bit more expensive than the competition. But there were significantly more positive reviews for this trap. And so that's why I chose this one. So I'll put a product link in the description below. So thanks for watching, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel.